that like silicone I thought I would give it a go again and um, just uh, have some fun I suppose <laughs> all right so before I get started though I am going to go ahead and put level my canvas I'm gonna put my levelers um, under there and for those of you that are new to my channel and don't know I make 3d printed acrylic pouring tools and this is one of my products and it is actually covered with um, Glad Press and Seal that I use. Um, it does help keep these clean. You can wash them in warm water, um, but the, the easiest way for me that I found to keep them clean is put some Glad Press and Seal on there. And then what I usually do is I start out with making them all the same, you know, the same size. And then I just put them under my canvas not all the way to the corners. Let me move these over here. There we go. Just so that they're just under the edge there. All right. Very good. That way the paint can kind of just drip off. All right. And then I usually take my um, level. Put that right on the end and you can tell that side looks really good right in the middle this one is off just a touch so I'm just gonna turn it and there we go all right make sure that's good all right so we're good to go all right so I've got my gloves on and I've got some different size swipe tools I've got the six inch uh, the three inch and then the one and a half inch. I'm probably going to start with the bigger one um, just to start with and then we'll see from there. So now I'm going to let you know what my paints are that I'm using. Um, they're all kind of leftover hodgepodge of paints, um, all metallic. This one is a mixed, wait, this one is a mixture, yeah, of two uh, that I had. They're both Pebeo uh, Studio Acrylics iridescent gold and then iridescent um, uh, precious gold and mixed those I had just a little bit of each one left so I mixed them together and this one here oh, let's see that one is the extreme sheen uh, copper this one I've just got a little bit left of that one and that's a really pretty color I like from Amsterdam um, and that is um, called, what is it called? Pewter. <laughs> it's called Pewter. Uh, I've only used it a couple times before, but I really, really like it. And this one here is another pretty color, and that one is um, Parage Posse um, Paints Antique Copper. And then we've got this one here, and that is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Bronze. And the color that I'm going to use as my swipe is two black uh, paints that I mixed together, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black and then Liquitex Basics Mars Black. Now all of these except for this one here is mixed with um, Floetrol and GAC 800, but the rest of them are all mixed with my pouring medium, which was my old mix. Um, so there's just um, Artist, or there's um, uh, Liquitex uh, pouring medium, oh my gosh, I can't think today. Liquitex pouring medium, flow trial, and water only in those. And um, and then there's silicone. Now I put, I think, four drops of the silicone. It's the three-in-one. Uh, and it's old. I've had it for years, so I'm assuming it's still good. Uh, and then the black, I think I put several more drops in. Um, I think maybe 
eight drops. Um, could have been a couple extra sometimes when I'm, I think I'm done squeezing the drops in, I get another one. So there was about eight or nine drops in there. And all of these are mixed uh, one part paint to two parts pouring medium. Now they did thicken up a little bit since they were sitting. Um, and then I added a little bit of water to the consistency. And I can kind of show you what that is right there. So a little kind of just dripping right off the stick there. All right. And if you're wondering what these are, <laughs> these are my new acrylic pouring stir sticks. They come in a couple different sizes. I've got uh, six inch and eight inch, and you can see this one's a little different. It's a honeycomb style. Um, it really does mix up the paint quite nicely. Um, so those I've been using a lot, and I really, really, really like them. Um, all of those are available in my Etsy shop, and the link will be in the description. So you can go check all of my acrylic pouring tools out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these, put these down here. And then I'm just going to start pouring the paint on each color individually, and um, and then I'll pour my, my swipe color. I think I'll probably go down the middle. We will see. But it's just going to be kind of just randomly all over. I haven't done one of these like this in a while. I used to do these several years ago. And there's my phone and my notifications. Uh, let's see, this one seems just a touch thicker or thinner. Um, I could have thickened it, but I'm just kind of having some fun today. So we will see how everything turns out. This one is such a pretty um, antique copper. It's kind of got like a rose rose gold color to it. I really, really like this one. And then I really do love, bronze is probably my favorite um, metallic paint. You can see the cells are already starting to develop and I don't even have anything going on yet. Just the cells are kind of starting to pop all over. All right, let me try to use up the rest here. just because I haven't done a silicone swipe or haven't used silicone in a swipe in a long time. So let's see, I'm going to use my
the dried photos and I'm pretty happy with the dried result. Um, I don't use silicone a lot, but I'm still happy with the cells. The colors are super, super pretty. Uh, one thing that I don't really care for is there's some areas you can tell that there was too much silicone, but once it's sealed, you won't even see those spots. Um, and if you liked my video today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now and share this video as well. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop for all of my acrylic pouring tools. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy. And I will catch you in the next one.